Welcome to a demo of Pi App Studio, a no-code AI-assisted platform which enables anyone, regardless of technical background, to build and own functional apps in Pi's decentralized ecosystem. To get started, open the Pi browser and tap App Studio on the home page. Once you're in the App Studio, choose your workflow. We'll start with choosing Chatbot to create a topic-specific AI chatbot app trained on your personal domain knowledge and expertise. Start by sharing one topic that you're knowledgeable about. It could be your profession, a hobby, or anything you've explored deeply. In our example, let's choose coffee making. Confirm if you believe your knowledge can benefit others and select yes if you're ready to share your expertise and move forward. Next, write a general description of your chatbot. This will be shown to users both within the UI of the app and in the published app description in the Pi browser. To see the preview of your chatbot in real time, you can switch between the Edit App and App Preview tabs at the top section of the App Studio interface. Here's where you train your chatbot. Under Custom Instructions, instruct the chatbot with behavioral guidelines on how to respond. For example, its personality, tone, or anything it should avoid. You may need to iterate on these instructions to train your chatbot, and you should use the version that best meets your needs. Under Knowledge Information, add as much information as you can about the subject. This is what the chatbot will learn from and use when answering users' questions. You can input up to 50,000 characters here, so include everything you know to refine the chatbot for this specific topic. Use the Pi Desktop app, if necessary, to more easily paste your domain knowledge from your computer. For the coffee-making example, we'll make sure to include details on the top things to remember when making coffee, like water temperature and ratio, bean quality, necessary tools, and more. Then, customize your app's primary color, which is used in the app's header section, the AI icon, and Send button. The color should help set the tone and match the subject matter of your chatbot. You can also choose a background color that should complement and contrast with your primary color. Ensure that the text is easy to read. Craft a welcome message for your chatbot. This is the first message users will see when opening up your app. Make sure it's user-friendly and aligned with your chatbot's purpose. Finally, name your app. Choose something catchy, easy to understand, and relevant to the chatbot subject matter. Once you've finished customizing your chatbot, pay 0.25 Pi and publish your app. Note that one Pi will be withdrawn at a time, and the remainder will remain in your App Studio balance for future republications and new app creations. Congratulations! Your chatbot is live and your app is instantly available to others. You can share your app on Fireside Forum and also view it in the Pi browser by tapping Pi Apps in the bottom navigation bar, then selecting the App Studio category. Now, let's try out the coffee-making chatbot we created. As you can see, the AI uses the provided domain knowledge in addition to its background familiarity of the subject to answer users as best as possible. Moving on, let's create a custom app with AI powered by your ideas and direction. This workflow allows you to use human language, not code, to create the app you want to build and own. Because this is still in beta, note that access may be limited and the user experience is still being refined. To get started, think of a simple app concept. Then, choose a name for your app and describe your app in as much detail as possible. AI will use the information you provided to generate your app. For example, let's create an app based on the classic snake game. In the app description, we'll write what the app should look like and how it should function. Like before, creating the app will cost 0.25 pi and one pi will be withdrawn if there's no remaining balance. The remaining 0.75 pi will be available on your account for future iterations updates, and new apps. The app will take anywhere from a few seconds to up to five minutes to generate. And now it's ready just like that. The app is fully functional without requiring any coding, and it can now be published and experienced by pioneers 
everywhere. However, if you feel that your app needs further tweaks, you can give additional instructions to the AI to edit the app. Each instruction will cost 0.25 pi as well. Note, however, that the edit function is still in progress and may not be available to everyone at this time. In this example, the snake game can benefit from a small cosmetic change to give the snake eyes. Once you're done editing, tap Finish Customization to successfully publish your app with a fully functional URL. Just like the chatbot, you can share your app on Fireside Forum and also view it in the Pi Apps tab in the Pi Browser under the App Studio category. What sets the App Studio apart are its guided app creation workflows and access to millions of potential app creators and users. So instead of just creating and running apps, Pi App Studio enables the creation of functional online products. Learn more about Pi App Studio and its significance for both Pi Network and the world at mindpi.com slash blog slash pi2day2025.